Did you know that you can stream the best of HBO shows and more with the new Astro? Better than before, no rain interruptions, no repeats, just stream anytime and on demand via the Astro Ultra Box. It starts from only RM5990 a month, and you can find out more information at astro.com.my. You're listening to the Goggler Podcast with me, Uma, and joining me on the show today is Nelson Coates, the production designer on Apple TV Plus's The Morning Show. Hey, Nelson, my name is Uma. I'm dialing in from Goggler in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. This is an absolute pleasure. Thank you. I love Kuala Lumpur. Oh, you've been? I designed Crazy Rich Asians, and so we were based in Kuala Lumpur. So I've gone all of over Malaysia. You are. Yes. <laughs> I love, love, love Malaysia. Oh, fantastic. So you've experienced the food and the beautiful architecture and all of that stuff. Oh, oh and, great. And Penang, the heaven of food. Oh, my goodness. Yes. See, I'm from KL and there's a little bit of a rivalry. Yes, I know. <laughs> oh, this is such a pleasure. Nelson, I've been a huge fan of the series and I'm always curious because we don't get a chance to speak to production designers very much. Um, but when you reach season three of a show like The Morning Show, how much opportunity is there for you to play? Because so much of the show has been established already. Well, you'd be surprised. Season two was shot during COVID. And so we had a lot of restrictions and we wanted to see things that were happening around the world. So I actually had to create Wuhan and Beijing and, and multiple cities, including Times Square in New York and Milan right. and, and Lake Como and never left Los Angeles. And so that was all so external. And this season is so much about people's personal spaces and their environments we've never seen before. So in essence, a vast majority of, of the season's design is brand new. I mean, there's new spaces even at UBA for the evening news and for Alex Levy's unfiltered show, her talk show. So you're seeing UBA spaces, corporate spaces that are new and different and some surprises later in the season that happen in those spaces. But really, predominantly, I think one of the things that's so exciting is each of these characters' environments that we got to create this year that have not been in the show yet. Some of those environments, supposedly people purchased during their COVID downtime. And, and so you're seeing a complexity and a darkness to the characterizations. You're seeing backstory to each of them in a way that we've not been able to reveal so far in the season, in the series. So I think that people are going to be super cool. surprised. I am such a sucker for shows that depict workplaces, because I think you can tell so much from where a person works. And whether it's the newsroom or Sports Night or the West Wing or any one of these shows, there's a level of intimacy that you otherwise own experience. And I'm curious when you get a script for the first time, for example, where do you begin with each of these characters and how much say do you have as to where they work and play? Well, surprisingly, since Mimi, Mimi Leader, the producing director on the show, and I've worked together for many, many years, we have kind of a shorthand and, and pitch things constantly. And so I have wide latitude to bring ideas into this one of the things that happened season two, no one wanted to go into real world environments because you didn't know about how sanitary during the pandemic. And so I built 12,000 square feet of office space on stage with a lot of convertible elements. So you could be on different floors. You could be on the 12th floor, the 15th floor by changing furniture, by changing the artwork and things. And creating the corporate culture for UBA is really all on me. Most of that's not in the script. You'll see the walls lined with posters of uh, fictional shows that are on this right. uh, network. Well, I'm having to come up, dream up these names and the artwork and doing the key art for all those things with my team. You're having to uh, also come up with the marketing for the morning show, uh, inside the morning show, so that you see what they are doing to market their shows. And that's on the walls and in standees and, and all those elements, just so it feels like a real place that's evolving over time, that it's not stuck in amber. It really is alive. 
there's even a funny joke that's in this season where uh, someone's wanting to change the UBA logo and it really ends up looking almost exactly like what they have, but everybody has done so much research to try to get what it should be. And, you know, playing those funny things are, are great for insiders that know corporate culture, but also they're, they're, they're cool for us. And also, what is the evening news? How is that different? That I made that space as the adult space. Morning show, the show within the show is much more light. It's breezy. It's morning. Yeah. And then the evening news has to have a gravitas. And so you'll see that in those spaces, as well as the irony that Alex's talk show, Alex Unfiltered, we know that she loves Broadway theater and we were trying to think of what kind of space would she have. And we're like, well, it would be a stripped down backstage at a theater with the fly rail and some some things from the backstage and the old brick. And the irony as she's trying to be so truthful and she's on this backstage of a theater, you pull away and you realize it's a fake set that looks like it's backstage at a theater. So it's not even truthful like it is. And you're right. It's not just for those in the know, but even for the general public, whenever some big corporation changes their logo, you're like, wait, I think you changed the font and it cost you $500 million. Like what is happening? I love the idea of modular sets and I'm Curious how that works with regards to shooting. And one of my favorite shows of all time was a science fiction show called Babylon 5. And yes, yes. they didn't have much money back in the day. Yes. Everything was modular, so they could just shift things around. How does that work with regards to shooting? Does that mean that you get a lot more space to play with, with where you put the cameras? Because with the morning show, for example, a lot of it is two people kind of talking at each other. And you've got to create dynamism and tension some other way, right? Correct. So uh, one of the things that we do, I grew up in the theater. I grew up as an actor. And so I'm trying to create spaces that are interesting for me to play in and they have interesting things on the desk and the walls and things that that are spaces that I think would help me with my character. Like I'm hoping they will help uh, with each of our actors and their characters. Mimi loves to move the camera. Uh, our direct other directors that are on the season follow her lead with that. So even if it's just two people talking, we're usually on the move. We're uh, there, we don't have a lot of resting time unless we're really trying to point people up to that moment. So creating spaces that actually allow that movement is is really important. And you'll see even some changes that we did in the morning show hallways and things for this season that make it darker and richer and feel like time has gone on. And yet I have to figure out how to pull like a dress room out and turn it into something else. And so you plan with shooting. We were shooting some, some weeks, three different episodes at the same time, you know, back and forth. And you're trying to keep track of, did this change at this point? Uh, so that continuity makes sense. But I meet with the ADs, I meet with the directors and say, okay, here's the only space where I can put this. So we have to schedule this at this point. So I have enough time to turn it back around to be this other set. Very, very challenging, especially with the spacecraft in this season that we created. We had uh, John Hamm for different periods of time and not all at the same time. So we could do bits and then we would have to put another set in that space and then trade out and do another part of the gantry. And then the space capsule would come in. And so you're literally, it's almost like backstage at a Broadway show where you're seeing the scenery move out and then something else is building over the next weeks. And then you know, you're having to work around it because you can't be building at the same time they're filming right there. So you have to say, okay, if we're building this set, the team is in early and they're on another stage and then this team will be done and then you can move to that stage and you can work. So it's complex. Wow. Nelson, I could talk to you all day, but I'm all out of time. This is an absolute pleasure. When they finally get that Crazy Rich Asian sequel off the ground, look me up when you're in Kuala Lumpur. You bet. I look forward to Cheers. it. Cheers. Thank you. It's been a pleasure. I've been speaking to Nelson Coates. He is the production designer on Apple TV Plus's The Morning Show. Season three is streaming as we speak. Watch it. Let us know what you think. You know how to reach out. All of our social media feeds at GogglerMY. You can also email us on podcast at goggler.my or send us a WhatsApp on the Goggler hotline 012-524-5208. If you drop us a line on any one of those channels, we'll send you a link to join our brand new Discord server where you can chat with us in real time. Thank you so much for listening. This is 
the Goggler Podcast.